Uh, my name is David Boyd uh, from Roadside Garages in Coleraine. My name is Gwyneth McQuiston and I'm Centre Manager of the Diamond Shopping Centre in Coleraine. I'm Neville Moore, I'm the owner and managing director of Moors of Coleraine. I'm uh, Ian Donaghy, MBE, the current president of the Causeway Chamber of Commerce. My name's David Harding, I'm the mayor of Coleraine Borough. The economic situation in Coleraine is probably fairly similar to many parts of Northern Ireland in that we're heavily reliant on the public sector. The last time we had inward investment in the region is between 15 and 20 years ago. We've seen nearly all our local industry disappear where we had uh, large chemical plants, manufacturing plants, they, they have gone. Uh, to a large extent that's been replaced by public sector jobs. The local area has really suffered uh, from the decline um, in the private sector and unfortunately now we're looking at a major uh, body blow to the public sector in Coleraine. As part of Northern Ireland coming out of, uh, sort of the, the troubles and trying to rebalance the economy, it's obviously important to grow the private sector and, and that's something the Council's been very keen to, to deal with. There's quite a vibrant local economy uh, in areas of agriculture, uh, agri-food production, uh, in engineering, locally, localised small uh, factories. Uh, and obviously the university is a major employer. Retail is a big thing in Coleraine and was a very major employer but has become less so obviously in the last three or four years. Tourism brings a lot of economic uh, input to there, very seasonal and generally at the lower end of the wage spectrum. So we find that uh, local people who grow up here who want to live and work here have trouble finding decent employment opportunities and, and have to leave, which is, is a major issue. Recession has hit us, uh, hit us very quickly and very hard. It's very, very difficult when you just get uh, administrators arrive on your doorstep of the morning of a store or whatever and the staff have to go home. They've lost their jobs and that's just it. There's no negotiation or no help that we can give them. Well, certainly we can look at, look at the town itself and see just the, the, the effect of, of shop closures, uh, just people really having a lot less money in their in their pocket. We recognise the difficulties that people have had and uh, with the pressure on their spending power. It's very difficult to remain positive, but you have to remain positive because without positivity, then you don't have that consumer confidence there. So you have to create a positive environment at all times, even though you know that the recession is still very hard hitting. One of the biggest issues for us, purely from a business point of view, is that I mean, we're already feeling the draft of consumer confidence since the start of the recession. There's been over 3,000 jobs lost thus far. Now we're talking about another 300 jobs being lost. So things like the threat to the jobs has already had an effect. I know from talking to business owners, it's actually not just the people whose jobs are at threat. It has a, a, a wider effect that people start to think, well, if those jobs can go, what about my job? If Coleraine were to hear tomorrow that we were going to receive 260 new jobs, what would that mean for us? We would be very excited. We think it would be great. It would be the turnaround for us. The economy was going to pick up and people would keep their jobs. Coleraine have no new jobs on the horizon. It would take the majority of employees at the minute in any new company is 20 to 30. So that would take roughly 15 companies to invest in Coleraine to make up for what we could lose, which I sincerely hope we don't. We're trying to develop the digital economy. We've been working with a, an investor for the last 18 months to try and bring a project to Coleraine and Portrush. 18 months work, it's a multi-million pound, tens of millions of pounds investment, but it will only bring 15 jobs to the area. To lose that number, uh, how, how do we address that deficit if that's the pace at which we can bring in uh, private sector jobs? So it, it certainly it's going to present a huge challenge for this local economy. We have a smallish population, the unemployment is already relatively high, so the loss of uh, circa 300 jobs is the same as Birmingham losing 12,000 jobs. I'm thinking the outcry that would have. The man who will be making this decision might think that Coleraine is a dispensable town. Uh, they might think that these are dispensable jobs and that he can do it with very little political cost uh, is wrong. Is wrong. This is a, a unique situation and Coleraine as a community will defend these jobs. It's not just 300 individuals, it's families to go with that. Families and everybody's worried. If we don't have a job we can't pay a mortgage, we can't pay. I'm going to be relying on family members to help seat. I think there's, it's going to be hitting a lot of people hard. That It's going to be a total loss to Coleraine and the business is going to be detrimental to everybody that lives here. 
Um, like, I mean, Corian's not the busiest of times, but to take out another 300 people and all their jobs, it's going to be even worse. 